What up, players? It is Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to a showcase video showing off this ring wraith from Lord of the Rings by Games Workshop. So, the reason why I'm showing him off now is because after I filmed my tutorial and put it up in the store on my website, I realized not not many people, if you're not going to buy the tutorial for 99 cents, you might not see what, um, you know, the, the finished product. And I wanted to show that off because I want to show you the... Uh, I guess essentially what I'm trying to sell on my website. So it's not only how to paint a ring wraith, but yeah, like I said, as we get a little bit of a focus here on the character, I wanted to show off how I paint cloth and how I use my like highlighting techniques to get the effect that I want. And as you can see, the ring wraith models, if you saw Lord of the Rings or if you have read any of the fiction, they are draped in these black robes and rags and uh, the black hood that obscures their their features and uh, they're very spooky and menacing looking so for a long time a lot of a lot of my questions on how to paint black revolved around how do i get black cloth to still look like black cloth but from a table's distance away look interesting and the um the the ways that i finally done it after watching other people painting after looking online and uh, learning from different teachers is i think a combination of a bunch of different skills all having to do with um how the eye perceives light and darkness the contrast between the raised areas and the shaded areas so i kind of talk about that in my tutorial and i also talk about how i use uh two colors basically to build up three maybe even more if you want four five six as, as many different levels of highlighting to create the desired effect that you want i talk about how to use different brush strokes the different brush strokes that i use to create a soft and um, feathered look to the cloth to make it look like it's moving and to give it a sense of motion so I think it's a great value if you've got 99 cents lying around in your bank account and you'd like to have this premium content. I would love it if you would order it and let me know what you think if uh, if you do get it. I want to see how this whole digital marketplace on my website works, but from, from what I've been reading, basically you pay for the product and then the website will give you a code and you can download the video and have it forever. And I think that's great because you can put it on your computer, you can put it on a disc, you can have it whenever you want and you don't have to worry then about uh, the internet. And uh, you know, if, if you don't have Wi-Fi or, or for whatever reason, you can always have the video and you can always refer to it and put it in your collection or something, whatever you want. It's I believe about 15 minutes, somewhere around there. So it's a shorter tutorial, I think, because it's a very limited palette, right? It's basically just black cloth and some silver. So the video is really focused on how to get the best effect for painting cloth, how you can train your eye to see the, uh, the, the flaps and the folds and the shadows and how to um, emphasize the contrast between light and dark because really when you're looking at a model your eye is getting your eyes are getting played with and your brain is is interpreting the messages that the painter wanted to show you I I specifically chose the different areas to highlight so that it would create a certain effect and um, as painters that's you know that's what we do like if you take a look at the the steel on the sword. I wanted it to look like the light was coming straight fr uh, from straight ahead and a little bit above by only highlighting the top part. And the bottom half of the sword is, there's still a little bit of highlight on it when you flip it, but when you look at it from far away, you can see where the highlight really lands on the top part of that blade. And um, so, you know, different tricks of the trade like that that I wanted to share with you. So, again, that's warbostastudios.com and hit the store tab. It's only 99 cents. And yeah, let me know what you think. I um, So, uh, I've gotten some messages and on, on um, Facebook and some messages on YouTube about, you know, if I'm going to be putting up digital paid products on my web store, then what am I going to be doing on YouTube? And so I'm still going to be putting tutorials on YouTube. In fact, I'm going to be putting my more, I guess, common and I would, I don't know want to say popular, but the, the tutorials that people would use more, like how to paint a space marine or how to paint an orc or a goblin or something like that, you know, things where 
uh, more people would search it and find it and uh, and be able to use it. Everything I'm going to be putting up in the web store is really for those of you who want to go that extra step and really get into my um, uh, my mind frame and my technique. And I guess if I were to have a school, it would be like classes. Yeah, they're like, they're like paid classes. And everything on YouTube is going to be more for the general. Um, hobbyist because my whole philosophy is that when I started painting I didn't have a resource like this and a lot of people who look up online how to paint models now um, some, some people will put up a, a video and cut it off like halfway through or they'll they'll edit it in a certain way where uh, you know you'd have to go to the to their website for uh, for the whole thing but um, I kind of want to still be a crusader and a uh, advocate of if you're a new painter if you're just getting into the hobby and you need certain basic skills and uh, if, if you were basically like me from 10 years ago then I want to give you the tools and the tips and the advice that I didn't have for free and then if you want to go that extra step and yeah like I said take private classes on specific certain topics for in this case how to paint black cloth then um, then you can go to my web store. All right, I don't know why I'm making a six minute pitch on um, on that, but I think it's a great deal and I wanna know what your opinions are. If you think there's something that uh, that needs addressing, I'd, I'd love to hear it because I'm, I'm trying to keep in touch with uh, what my fans and viewers and subscribers want to see. So yeah, thanks so much, you guys. I, I hope that you are all well. I hope the holiday season is treating you all well. Uh, Grandfather Nurgle decided to come by and give me my Christmas gift early, so that's why I've been out for a while. I've been dealing with a cold and the after effects of that. But I don't think it shows up in the video. I got this new microphone. It's really awesome, and uh, I, I think it makes my voice sound pretty cool and not all stuffed up like this. So that is it. I promise I'm going to cut out right now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.